Cunningham from Governor's Island for the ninth annual Jazz Age Lawn Party. Wow, has that thing exploded. This past Saturday and Sunday, a two-day event, approximately 10,000 people. When it began nine years ago, there were maybe 200 dancers, people in period clothes of the flapper age. This whole undertaking was the idea and infatuation of the flapper Roaring Twenties music and in the 30s. And it's just simply marvelous. And a lot of people dress in uh, a vague uh, style of the period. Then there are the core group who are as fastidious about dressing as they are about the dance steps. It's all absolutely correct. And it, it was fantastic to see uh, some of the picnics in the enclosed area, uh, picnickers, I should say, come with a theme. Here, a safari. And then during the afternoon, they now put on a series of follies. And they happen very quickly, so you have to be alert to be around the bandstand. Everywhere there was activity. There was even a VIP lounge, which is out in the open, and all the swells are in there putting on the Ritz. Oh, it's, a, it's, it's just wonderful. You're, I mean, you can't imagine this event, uh, what it's like. On Sunday, there was a bathing suit show, like a Follies lineup. And of course, all uh, bathing suits of the 20s were knitted wool. And I can tell you, growing up in that era, when you get wet and you lie in the sand, the itchiness of those wool suits. Whoa, I didn't envy anyone in them. Knew this year an influence on the style of dress were the bits and pieces from the recent Gatsby film. And these headdresses, whatever it is, with pearls all draped in the hair, people really let themselves go. It's, it's, it's marvelous. I can't think of a more delightful way to spend a weekend in the city.